In the world of coffee, it seems the slower the better. Coffee shops are rolling out new low-tech devices, offering a customized slow-poured brew that often takes longer to prepare and costs more. So is it worth it? Here with the story is WSJ home and lifestyle reporter Anne-Marie Chaker. Anne-Marie, thanks so much for joining us. Can you take us through a few of these new coffee-making methods you looked into? Yes, so what I love about this is it really gives you control over your coffee making. So you put the kettle on and you get your water nice and hot. You get it between 195 and 205 degrees Fahrenheit. And then um, you pick your grounds. And I've been really enjoying this uh, gizmo called an AeroPress. And um, it's not much to look at. It's a sort of a plastic cylinder. You put your grounds in, you get your water nice and hot, you put the water over, it sort of acts like a French press, if you're familiar with that. And then you take this plunger, put the plunger on top, and you press it down, and it makes, to my mind, a pretty good cup of coffee. So these are um, products, one that's, oh, sorry to interrupt, but these are products that are meant for domestic use as well as coffee yes. shops? Okay. And you'll find them in coffee shops as well. Um, another one that's becoming popular is called a Chemex. And this is a glass sort of hourglass shaped uh, contraption. And it takes an extra thick filter. You put your filter on top, again, the grounds on top, get the water on the kettle, pour it over. And it's actually kind of a lovely device um, that goes on your countertop. And it, uh, the, the coffee pours through the carafe. And it makes a nice kind of a lighter cup of coffee. Well, I love my coffee, so I'm willing to wait for a good cup, but how much longer do these methods take? And if you go to a coffee shop, is it much more expensive? Yeah, so I went to a whole bunch of coffee shops to test how, how much time these methods take, and they range, they, they, take, they can take a while, anywhere from about four minutes to 19 minutes. As, and um, I think uh, in one case, I paid a, uh, as much as $8.50 for a cup of coffee. <laughs> wow. Um, so <laughs> That's expensive, I, I think. It, you're not talking about espresso, you're talking about brewed coffee. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I hope it was good. So tell me, how is this changing the business model of how coffee shops operate? Yeah, so this is really changing the business model. It's interesting because it used to be about, you know, getting coffee in the hands of customers and getting them out the door. And now um, they're all talking about how do we balance the fast service with the slow service? Um, do we do two lines, one for the slow bar, one for the espresso-based drinks? How does this affect prices for everybody? Um, so there's all kinds of things that they're weighing. It's all about that balance. Are the big chains weighing this as well, or is this just for mom and pop coffee shops? Yeah, it's mostly mom and pop coffee shops that can sort of nimbly get into this business for now, but the chains are definitely looking at it. I spoke with Starbucks, which is hoping to roll out hundreds of uh, new coffee shops that will be offering this service in the coming years, five years. Um, another one that is really looking at this um, is Caribou Coffee. Talk mm. to me about how they're... Um, weighing the pros and cons and looking at uh, offering this kind of service to customers. All right, Anne-Marie, the most important question of all, you've tried this coffee, you've made it at home, you've tried it at the coffee shops. Is it that much better? Is it worth the difference? You know, I think it's, uh, I, I think they make, it makes for a very good cup of coffee. I, I do like it. Um, one thing that's so great about these methods is that they're not, these contraptions are not expensive. Uh, it's not like you're investing hundreds of dollars on a new espresso maker. These uh, contraptions are not too big. They cost anywhere from about $15 to $45. And so you can, you know, easily buy one or two and kind of play around with them and customers can decide uh, if they want to go there. Sounds to me the thing might to do, to do is to skip the line at the coffee shop and just make the slow brew at home <laughs> for a fraction of what you'll pay. All right, thank you so much, Anne-Marie, for that. Thank you, Tanya.